a man on a mission in the endless frozen wastelands of the Arctic. Photographer Norbert Rosing has to withstand temperatures of 38 below zero Celsius to find that special shot. Rosing sometimes waits for weeks to capture such scenes, here by the Hudson Bay in Canada. Some of his best pictures have appeared in the book up here. The beauty of the frozen north captured in images of stunning clarity. The nature photographer has been traveling around the Arctic Circle for 30 years. In his house near Munich, Rosing recalls extraordinary encounters, including one with a polar bear family. She was sleeping with her cubs. And then suddenly she began playing with them. And then the temperature rose within an hour from 30 below to 8 above zero. And suddenly it began to rain. And we could see the mama bear licking her cubs dry. And then she stood up, the cubs wanted to suckle. We just had a couple of seconds. The National Park in Manitoba province has strict rules on working with the shy animals. Taking photos is allowed only in a group led by a guide. And you can go within 100 meters of the bears, but no closer. The bears often just walk away from us, and we don't try to follow them. We can only work with bears that tolerate our presence and are relaxed. And sometimes we'll then have the bears for four to five hours. Norbert Rosing still takes many of his photos with an analog camera. Here he's looking at slides with shots from his travels in Canada and Greenland. Then digital photography was introduced in the early 2000s. I resisted it for a very long time, and I've never really become a fan of it. I don't understand a lot of what people do with photography today. I love the genuine article. Norbert Rosing also likes to photograph closer to home at Bavaria's Lake Amar. Untouched nature anywhere is always of interest. It's about wild Germany, the way it was 100 or 200 years ago. Today only little islands have it remained, and they're now under renewed threat from the modern world. I try to show people this is what it looks like. Let's save it at least for the next two to three generations. Rosing's photos have been published in high-profile magazines such as National Geographic. His pictures have even featured on postage stamps. Norbert Rosing will soon be heading off to the Arctic again to capture more magical moments amidst the snow and ice. <laughs>